Hi guys, today I'm going to be demonstrating the Iris 6 jailbreak that was released early, earlier on today by Evasion. This jailbreak will work for all iPhone models, all iPod Touch models, all iPads and the iPad Mini, uh, all on Iris 6.0 running to 6.1. So that's the latest um, firmware update by Apple. First of all, the link will be in the description to go to evasion.com and simply download um click on the link to whatever system you're running it's pretty much the same for all the systems really there's not much difference okay once you download that it will come as a zip file so you need WinRAR or WinZip to unzip that I've got mine on my desktop so you just double click that and just drag the file straight to your desktop okay now you have the file on your desktop you just double click the file okay now make sure your iDevice is plugged into your computer and iTunes is closed it is also advisable that you turn off any passcode lock you have as it may interfere with the jailbreak process. So I've got an iPhone, I'm jailbreaking an iPhone 5 today. So once that's plugged in and iTunes is um, not running, you can just double click evasion. And if it asks you this, just press yes. Okay, now it says connect your iPhone um, to the computer. See, now mine's recognized. It's um, iPhone 5 Global iOS 6.1. And simply, once it's recognized, you just press jailbreak and wait. Okay. On the website, it says it's going to take at least about five minutes, which is much better than the previous jailbreaks, where you had to put it into DFU mode by yourself, which can cause loads of problems. And yeah, this jailbreak was released on the 4th of February. Uh, some say it was supposed to be released on the 3rd, but anyway, it's here now, so it's much anticipated as well. So I'd like to thank Evaders for their hard work and time for doing this jailbreak. <laughs> so we just got to wait now for a bit. Not sure how long it's going to be. Alright, I'm going to pause the video for now and um, I'll resume it when it's almost finished. Okay guys, um, during the process your phone will turn off and the Apple logo will appear, this is completely normal, so don't get worried if any of this happens, and it's highly advisable not to touch anything on the computer, or obviously your phone, or iPod, or, iD or iPad, and just let the jailbreak run its course without interfering with it in any way. So yeah, just in case, I wouldn't even like go on any other programs. Just, just. Uh, <clears throat> yep, your phone will turn on and off a few times. Mine just turned back on. Don't know if you could hear that. Right now it says injecting stage two jailbreak. So I'm assuming that um, it's in, um, installing the jailbreak in stages. No idea why, but I will. Also at this stage I'd like to thank you guys for hitting over 1,100 subs. It's happened a long time ago but this is really the only video I could really thank you with. So, thanks. Alright, uploading Cydia, that's a good sign. That means Cydia is being installed, which is like the jailbreak hub for those of you that know. For those who don't, Cydia is just the hub of the jailbreak. You can download anything on that. Free apps, free ringtones, free wallpapers, literally anything. Okay, to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon. It's okay. I'm going to unlock my device. And there is now a jailbreak icon, which I'm going to click. And I'm just clicking it once. You don't have to click it again. It will flash. As soon as you click it, it will flash once and it will go back. Don't touch it anymore. Just let evasion do its job. Job. Now it says jailbreak complete. The device may restart a few times as it completes the process. I wouldn't click exit just as yet until my device is fully back on, just in case. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. And that was barely. Let me see how long that was. That was not even five minutes. I've got to hand it to these guys. They've done a really good job making it much more easier to use compared to the old um, 
like absent jailbreak and red snow jailbreaks where you had to put it into DFU mode yourself and lots of people got stuck on many different logos such as the pineapple and the apple logo etc but this has been by far the easiest jailbreak alright my phone's just flashed up it's got the uh, absent I'm sorry the evasion logo on there just flashed up now the apple logo's come up Right, it says initializing offsets. Just let it do its job. Don't touch the phone. Don't disconnect it. <coughs> right, so now it's patching kernel. This is basically the same things that happened on the old jailbreaks. It's just that it's been laid out in a much more user friendly way, which is really good. And like again, um, I wouldn't update if Apple releases a new firmware as it may just get rid of the jailbreak. So you just have to wait and keep an eye on what Evasion or many other hackers tell you to do. Yeah, otherwise say if Apple do release say 6.1.1, .1, I wouldn't update because it would just get rid of the jailbreak. <laughs> It's still on patching kernel. This may take a few a few minutes. So yeah, whether you're on 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, or 6.1, this jailbreak will work fine. But it's always good to be on 6.1. I'll probably be making another video of this jailbreak on an iPad, just to, you know, show that. Um, it will work exactly the same, no problems or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna pause the video until the uh, phone turns on after it finished patching the kernel. Yep. So give me a sec. And yeah, that's it, guys. My um um. It was stuck on patching kernel for quite a long time, but it finally cleared of it. CD is installed, and I'm just making sure everything's fine. And yep, yeah, everything's fine. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't um, forget to uh, comment on the video if you have any problems. Also, subscribe to my channel for any more upcoming uh, iPhone or any tech-related video. And give this video a like. Thanks, guys.